entertainment news this week. The 51st Annual Country Music Association Awards kicked off last night in Nashville, remembering what has been a year of tragedy. The CMAs began with an all-star choir, including Darius Rucker, Keith Urban, and Lady Antebellum, singing the Hootie and the Blowfish hit, Hold My Hand. Hosts Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley then paid tribute to the victims of mass shootings, including last month's massacre at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival in Las Vegas, and those affected by recent hurricanes in Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. The mass shooting at the Route 91 Country Music Harvest Festival had been one of the subjects the CMA had initially banned journalists from discussing on the red carpet, a decision it reversed after much criticism, including from Paisley. On Wednesday, Underwood and Paisley joked about the CMA's prohibition on political topics. Keith Urban debuted his song, Female, a response to the Harvey Weinstein sexual harassment and assault scandal, which his wife, Nicole Kimmon, has spoke out against. It also was a big night for Garth Brooks, who was named Entertainer of the Year for a record sixth time. Taylor Swift took Song of the Year for writing Better Man, which Little Big Town recorded. For a complete list of winners, you can find it on the web. You can get your tickets now for the Vegas Strong Benefit concert happening December 1st at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Some of the biggest names out of Las Vegas are coming together to honor the victims of the October 1st shooting. The proceeds from the event are benefiting the Las Vegas Victims Fund. The show features Las Vegas bands, The Killers, and Imagine Dragons, as well as Boys to Men, Circus du Soleil, David Copperfield, Penn and Teller, and many more. Tickets are on sale now. In addition to the benefit concert at T-Mobile Arena, T-Mobile is offering a tax to give donation options with proceeds donated directly to those affected by the Las Vegas shooting. Those interested in donating can text Vegas to 20222 to give $10 to the National Compassion Fund. 100% of the funds raised will be distributed to the victims of Las Vegas. T-Mobile customers will see the donation on their next bill. The legacy of singer Selena Quintanilla has lived on for more than two decades. Now the queen of Tejano music has joined a constellation of stars in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The singer, simply known as Selena, was honored Friday with a posthumous star in one of showbiz's most visible landmarks. The Grammy-winning singer was shot dead 22 years ago by the president of her fan club. At the time, she was breaking concert attendance records and her albums were at the top of the music charts. She was known for hits that include Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb, Dreaming of You, and Como La Flor. This has been your entertainment news this week. I am Alicia Cook, reporting for News 46.